Egypt was due to reopen its stock exchange today, but regulators got cold feet and it will now stay shut until Sunday. Well, it's the latest in a long line of delays. The exchange closed more than a month ago at the height of the country's unrest back in January. Let's see how this has affected one of Egypt's biggest businesses. Naguib Sawiris is chairman of Orascom Telecom, the largest phone company in the whole of the Middle East, and he joins us now on the phone from Cairo. How concerned are you that we keep on getting delay after delay for the stock market, this means that international investors are really uncertain about the future of what they hold in Egypt. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm really disappointed. You know, we were all uh, very uh, upbeat that the stock exchange will open today. Uh, th there is a fear because of small investors who have been, uh, Egyptian uh, investors who have been demonstrating in front of the Cairo Stock Exchange and uh, in masses, and uh, they put the fear into the management of the stock exchange. Uh, in my personal view, it is unwarranted because uh, uh, personally, I am opt optimistic on the future of Egypt. Uh, if there is a short term scare and people are going to be selling their stock, we have to deal with that. The GDR program, anyhow, in London has been performing very well. The most, uh, uh, the biggest four stocks on the GDR, Oraskom Construction, Telecom, Oraskom Telecom, EFG Hermes, CIB, have been all uh, performing well. Uh, yesterday, uh, even the drop that happened yesterday, they rebounded. So but I am Mr. really uh, hopeful that... Why is the board uh, paying attention to local investors instead of also focusing on international investors? Uh, I, I, it's a good question, and you're right. You should not be doing that because these local investors also lack the sophistication of the need of a, an active and well-performing stock exchange. But, you know, we are in a state in Egypt here where many, uh, unfortunately, many people are abusing the revolution, uh, are protesting, are striking, are just uh, looking for personal gains instead of being nationalistic and knowing that the best thing for Egypt now is to reopen the stock exchange and getting normality back to Egypt, you know. So it's an unfortunate situation, you know. I'm actually sympathizing with the management of the stock exchange, you know. And there was talk about whether some of the trades that happened on that 27th of January would be cancelled or not when the stock exchange fell by a lot. I understand the no. decision now is not, is not to cancel those trades. No, they should not be cancelled. They were done in, in total uh, transparency and people were uh, at that time and point not sure what will happen and therefore there is nothing uh, that was wrong with these trades and therefore also our juridical system has concluded that these trades are correct and should be maintained. You know, This is all, uh, I would say, some speculators who lost some money or want to make some money based on, on using the, the state we're in now where people can just strike and ask for unwarranted demands. You know? Mr. Sawir very quickly, they say that the stock market will reopen on March the 6th. Do you believe them? I believe them this time because you can't uh, play the game of fire, fire, and then every time chicken out like that, you know. <laughs> All right. <laughs>